Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial on Apache, Kafka and Zookeeper on Docker. So we will straightforward uh, go to the description on what we are going to do as part of this tutorial. So you know I, I'm go not going to talk about what is Apache Kafka and what is Zookeeper in this uh, video. Uh, we are going to see how we can install Kafka on Docker. So we'll be having a Kafka on as a Docker container and we will also have Apache Zookeeper as another Docker container and we will see how uh, these two containers will interact each other. So for those who are new to Kafka and Zookeeper I will give you reference and I will just show you a little bit small glimpse on where you can refer and find out uh, the details about what is Kafka and like how the event streaming and the data pipeline those kind of things what you can do with Kafka but it's a huge topic which we will cover in later maybe some other videos but this is a straightforward video where we will set up a container for a Zookeeper so I will be running manual command to create uh, the docker container for Zookeeper we will describe you know uh, in the demo session what this command about what all these parameters which we are using and we'll also run a, a, the command for creating a container for Kafka as well and you know this IP address and all those things I will explain you and this will change based on you know your machine and you know we will explain all these parameters in the demo session then we will go to the Kafka uh, container and also we will go to the, uh, the SH file the shell files where we can create topic and once we create the topic we will also list the topic where we'll see you know how the zookeeper and Kafka interact each other so as I mentioned this is a straightforward tutorial where you can set up the Kafka and zookeeper as a docker container it's uh, we will see in the later maybe other videos how we can describe about what is Kafka what is you know zookeeper how what do you mean by topic you know how, what is the replication and uh, the partitions all those things are related to the Kafka and zookeeper which we will explain maybe in some other video but I will give you the reference where you can go through it so before I get into the actual demo and if you are new to my channel uh, or if you are you know have not subscribed to my channel I would request you to click on the subscribe button also like my video you know give your uh, feedback in the comment section as well so for those who are new to Kafka I will give this uh, reference link into the video description so you can go and refer this documentation so you can see like you know Apache Kafka is an open source distributed event streaming platform used by you know a lot of companies highly you know the main big top companies are using this for data pipeline streaming analytics you know data integration mission critical application you can see it's used in manufacturing banks insurance telecom so you will see the lot of information like why this is uh, highly used in different organization like uh, throughput scalable uh, you know capable these uh, storage high availabilities you know built in uh, streaming processing in, there are a lot of features of Kafka which you know I'm not going to explain here but I will give you the documentation links into the video descriptions you can read through it like what is even streaming you know what are the use cases for Kafka like you know messaging uh, web activity tracking so there are, there are different use cases for Kafka as well so I'm not going to explain all these things in this video you can go through this documentation we are going to jump directly into how we can set up you know the zookeeper and Kafka as containers okay so let's get into my uh, docker container machine so you, I have a docker install on this machine so if you don't know how to set up docker here also I would request you to look into my videos I have a full video on docker course for uh, beginners it's almost like a three hours course where you'll be getting a complete details and you will be like a, a good uh, detailed a person who can run work on docker without uh, any person support so you should get complete uh, you know learning from that so you can refer to that uh, video so let's get started on you know uh, this uh, setting up the docker container for zookeeper first then we will set up for Kafka so I'm going to run the command uh, you know, docker run and hyphen D is for detach mode and I'm going to give the name for this container as hyphen hyphen name zookeeper and I'm going to map the port the zookeeper port is 2181 and I'm going to use uh, the parameter like restart is, is equal to unless top and I'm going to Im use the image uh, as I mentioned like you know the image from docker hub so it dip you know it, this is the basic uh, simple command which I'm going to use to run uh, create a zookeeper container so you can if you want to diff use a different name you can use it if you want to use a different port number from the host you can use that as well 
and you know uh, you can make changes based on you but you will have to adapt to those changes into the other uh, commands as well okay so I'm just running this uh, uh, command and I have also oh, it, it has created the docker container so if I go to docker ps you can see the container is running right so these commands docker ps docker container ls those kind of commands I, I know as I mentioned you have to refer the docker tutorial for from my channel where you'll be getting the complete information on that now since the zookeeper is running you may see like it has created the container very quickly because the docker image for zookeeper is already inside on this machine so for example if i go to docker images you can see the zookeeper image is already downloaded that's why you know it has uh, created the container very quickly now I'm, uh, now i'm going to create the container for zookeeper uh, kafka because the kafka has to interact with the zookeeper for creating the topics and uh, uh, other process so as i mentioned i'm not going to uh, talk about a lot about consumer producers there are a lot of components in kafka this is a straightforward topic where we'll be creating the both containers and you know we'll create a topic and we'll see how it can be listed okay so uh, before that i also want to sh uh, tell you that you need to check your machine ip address so for me it's the ip address is 103 192.168.10.103 why because in the when we create the kafka container we need to mention what is the host where the kafka will be running and also we need to mention where the kafka has to interact to the zookeeper right so the zookeeper is also running on the same machine so i have to use the ip and the port number for that so i'm going to run the command for uh, creating the kafka container so here also i'm going to use docker run and hyphen D for detach mode and the name of the container is Kafka and the port number for the Kafka is 9092 and I'm going to use an environment variable like you know that advertised host which is this machine which is 103 and I am also telling this container to connect to the zookeeper which is the same host but the port number is 2181 and they're using the image as Kafka now here if you don't give the you know port uh, IP address or the host machines uh, you know, details and also the zookeeper uh, I know uh, details correctly the port number and everything if you make some mistake the container will be created but it will fail if you go to l check the logs it will not connect to zookeeper and it will keep crashing or it will not uh, complete the whole process okay so let me create this now if you see it's trying to download the image whereas in the you know zookeeper the image was already there so it was quickly created the container in the Kafka case the image is not there so it's downloading the image and then it will create the container okay so we'll have to wait for this uh, image to be downloaded so when it's completed the uh, container will be created so let's wait for that so it's almost done it's extracting the last uh, few layers so now you can see it has created the container as well so now we have two containers right so one is three minutes ago other one is five seconds ago right so one is for zookeeper and one is for uh, you know, the Kafka now what we done is like we created this container straightforward with the command okay in the future video I will also show you better simple option because you don't need to run this command separately you can create a docker compose file and just one click it will create both these two containers uh, you know from the docker compose file okay so that will be upcoming tutorial but here you know if I want to show you the straightforward uh, simple solution where you can create the container uh, directly now if I go like you know both these are running right now let's connect to the you know the Kafka container so it will be docker exec and hyphen it for interactive mode and we need to uh, use the Kafka container and it should be bin slash bash okay so we are going to connect uh, to the container so it's a typo from because we have used exec t so there is a typo in here so let me clear our screen so it should be docker exec hyphen it kafka and uh, slash bin slash bash okay so now we are inside the container so you can see it has changed from local host to the container id right now you see that you know we are inside and i will go to slash opd slash kafka and slash bin okay now if I list you can see all the you know com all the shell files where it, we will use use it for the Kafka because you can see there are different kind of files right you can see you know standalone you have features we have run class server start server stop 
you, there are a lot of files right where it's uh, for the, which, which we be using as as part of Kafka tutorial these all are important files and we will be using for a lot of purpose okay but in this case what we are going to use is we are going to simply use the topics where we can create the topics okay so let me clear out the screen so I'm going to create a topic so now the command you know what we are going to use as I mentioned topic uh, sh which we are going to use the topic file uh, the shell file and we are going to create a topic so it should be create and uh, we are going to use the name as test for this topic and uh, the topic we, when we create it has to tell where the zookeeper is so we need to connect to the zookeeper and we also need to mention how much partition and the replication factor so this partition replication factor all these things have importance which we will talk about as part of kafka tutorial not as part of this so yeah now we can see the topic is created right now we can list down this topic so in order to list the topic you just need to use the same topic uh, shell file and we need to use list and uh, you know we use topic uh, test and uh, we need to use uh, this command so let me run the command now you can see the topic is uh, listed here right we can try to create uh, different topics as well so you can create multiple topics and these topics how you interact and you know how it, the partition is used and all those things it's a completely a different topic as part of this kafka concept which as i mentioned it should be a different uh, video where it, uh, there are a lot more to talk about it for in this tutorial we are running the kafka and apache zookeeper as docker container so we use these commands so you can refer these commands to create as i mentioned you need to change the host name ip address as part of your system and also the zookeeper uh, connect to the IP address and the port number should be set up as part of uh, what you have set. So if you have used different uh, you know, IP address, you need to set that. And these, these are the comments how you can go to you know the Kafka container and uh, where you need to go to the OPT file and you need to create the topic using the topic.sh uh, file. So that's the overall part of this tutorial where you need to run uh, you know, the, these comments to create the containers and you know, how to run the uh, containers for Kafka and Zookeeper. So that's all for this tutorial. So I would uh, request you like, you know, if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button, like my video, share and uh, give your feedback in the comment section. And I want to thank you again for giving you all your support uh, for this uh, channel. And uh, we are learning together. So thank you for watching.